And then it's time to shout out super duper loud, hey friends, because you're my friend and I hope that I'm your friend. So on the count of three, I want to hear it super duper loud. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey friends. Whoa, that was awesome. You know, I just love being here with you. Yeah. When we're together, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story and we get to dance to some rock and music. But before we do any of that, we have fun together. That's right, it's time to play a game. So I have three doors here, a yellow door, a blue door, and a red door. Can we all count them together? Let's count, here we go. One, two, three. Good job. So we are gonna open the doors one at a time and whatever we find behind the doors, whatever it is, you and I have to act it out together. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I want your help. Which door do you think that we should pick first? What do you think? You think one, two, three, what you thinking, what you thinking? Oh, okay, well, I don't know about you, but number three looks pretty. Cool. Okay, I think that we should open door number three. Let's see what's inside the door. Do you know what that is? Yes, it's a fish. Okay, so now we have to act out being a fish. All right, so so they make really silly faces, right? It's like, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> okay, so now we have to swim around. Here we go. Oh, you friends make amazing fish. Okay, now it's time to open our next door. What do you think? Should we open door number one? Or should we open door number two? Yeah? Okay, okay. Well, I don't know about you, but number one looks pretty good. Okay, let's open door number one. Let's see what's behind the door. Do you know what that one is? Yes, it is a frog. Okay, so frogs, they're green, they're slimy, and they jump up and down a lot. And they also sound, what do they sound like? It's like, it's like, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. Okay, so now we have to act out being some frogs. Here we go. We gotta hop up and down. Let's do it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. You friends did awesome. All right, it is time to open our final door. I cannot wait, door number two. Let's see what's behind it. Oh, this is one of my favorite animals in the whole wide world. Do you know what animal it is? That's right, it's an elephant. Okay, so elephants are super duper big and they have a really long nose, so it's time to act out being an elephant. Here we go, let's do it together. Oh, oh yeah. And yeah, just like that. Keep being an elephant. Oh, um. <laughs> that one was awesome. Okay, well I had the best time checking out what was behind each of these doors. But now, the fun's not over yet because it is time for an amazing Bible story just for you. So now it's time to take a seat and get comfy. And let me see your hands. And open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey friends, 
My name is Sabrina and I'm really, really excited to be here with you today because I get to share something with you that I read in my favorite book in the whole wide world. Do you remember what that book is called? That's right, it's the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I was reading in my Bible about this guy that had eight sons and then this other guy that had this big ginormous job to do. I'm gonna tell you all about it, okay? There was a man in the Bible, his name was Samuel and God chose Samuel to pick the next king. Whoa, that is a huge job. Samuel is gonna be the one to pick the new king? But don't worry, because God was gonna help Samuel pick the new king. So there was also a man named Jesse, and Jesse was the one with eight sons. Eight sons! Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of sons. So Samuel went to Jesse to meet all eight of his sons to see which one of them was gonna be the new king. Let's meet the sons. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that is a lot of sons. Let's see which one of these sons is going to be the new king. Let's meet the oldest son. I'm sure that the oldest is gonna be the new king, right? Let's see. Oh, well, I guess the oldest son is not gonna be the new king. I thought for sure he was. Well, let's try some number two because Samuel had to keep looking. They have to find a new king. Son number two, let's see if God chooses him. Oh, nope, it's not gonna be son number two either. Well, Samuel definitely had to keep looking, right? So let's try son number three. Oh, it's not gonna be son number three either. Wow, well, I guess we have to try son number four. He looks really smart, let's try him. Hmm. I guess not. Nope, it's not son number four, but son number five looks really, really promising. Let's try that one. Hmm. I thought for sure maybe it would be five, but not number five. Let's keep going. Son number six it is. Hmm. Son number six it's not. Wow. All right, let's try son number seven. Maybe he'll be the new king? Maybe not. Well, that was seven sons and none of them were the new king. Wait, how many sons did Jesse have? You're right, Jesse did have eight sons. And how many sons do we have here? Let's count them one more time just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means there's one more son that we haven't met yet. So Samuel asked Jesse if he had one more son because he didn't see any more. And Jesse said, yes, he had one more son. His name was David and he was in the fields taking care of the sheep. David was smaller and younger than all of his brothers. He sure didn't look like he could be king. But you see, God wasn't looking for someone super tall or super big or even super smart. He was looking for someone who was kind and loving and that really loved God. And David was super kind and loving and he did love God. Let's see if David is going to be the new king. Wow! God chose David to be the new king. How exciting! Can we cheer for David? 
Yay, David! Congratulations! God chose David to be the new king. You see, God loves us no matter what. It really doesn't matter if we're super tall or super short or have big muscles or small muscles or if you're good at soccer. It doesn't matter. God loves us no matter what. God loves you no matter what. And God loves me no matter what. Let's pray and thank God for loving us no matter what. If you're ready to pray, you know what to do. Give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so, so much for loving us just the way we are. We love you so much, God. Amen. See, I told you Samuel had a ginormous job to do, but God was gonna help him. And just like he loved David no matter what, he loves you no matter what. And he loves me no matter what. I'm gonna remember that all week. I'll catch you next time, friends. Bye. Wow, that was an incredible Bible story. I loved listening to it with you. And now it is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. And I can't wait. So get up on your feet and let's dance. Bye, friends. When I feel sad and I need a friend, God turns it all around and helps me smile again. When I get so mad or do something